Hello, my darling friends, and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Today's class is a grounding yoga flow, so there will be no standing postures in today's class. For items, feel free to bring along with you a blanket to pad the knees, and if you have one, a yoga strap or a belt or even a folded up towel, this could be really useful for our practice here together. However, if you do not have any of these items, it is all good because I will provide options along our way. All right, let's get started. We begin today's practice in extended child's pose. Bring the big toes together and bring the knees as wide as feels most comfortable. Slowly begin to spider crawl the fingers towards the top edge of the mat and begin to sit back towards the heels. Breathe in and breathe out to release the chest, forearms and forehead to or towards the earth. There's an option to stack the hands on top of one another to create a hand pillow for the forehead, creating space. Once you are settled, breathe in through the nose and then slowly breathe out through the mouth. Arrive here. There are moments in our life where we may feel disconnected. This could be due to uncertainty, daily stressors, elements beyond our control, and so on. This happens. The tools of yoga can help us reground physically, mentally, and emotionally. By staying low to the ground, perhaps we can feel that connection to the earth beneath us, helping us stay grounded or rooted in the present moment. As we move today, I invite you to consider things that you do to help you stay grounded. This could be writing in a journal, going for a walk, being outside in nature, singing, and so on. There's no right or wrong, just something to think about. Breathe in through your nose and then slow breath out through your nose. Breathe in. Retain the breath for a moment and then breathe out through the nose. One more time, breathe in. Retain the breath and then breathe out through the nose. Press into your foundation, all that is touching the earth to help us rise up. Keeping your toes together and the knees wide, walk your wrists under the shoulders and then forward slightly. There's an option to pad the knees with a blanket for comfort and support. Breathe in to reach your tailbone towards the sky, dropping the belly closer towards the earth, chest reaches forward, gaze up. Breathe out to round through the spine Chin slowly moves towards the chest. I invite you to close your eyes as we move here to help us go inward, to feel the sensations throughout our body. Breathe in to drop the belly, chest shines forward, chin towards the sky. You can imagine the sun shining down on your face. Maybe you smile a little here. Exhale to round through the back body feeling a lovely stretch in the upper back. Fingertips gently grip the mat. Breathe in, drop the belly. Exhale to round through, belly button towards the spine. Breathe in to find a neutral spine. Open your eyes. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Let's take our hips in a circle, shining the heart center forward and then gradually melting the sit bones towards the heels. Keep this action going. For today, I invite you to move slow, as if you were moving through molasses. There's an option to take smaller circles, and you can take that circle in the opposite direction at any time. As always, I invite you to listen to your body what would feel best for you today?
Now let's integrate the breath into this movement. We breathe in to come forward and then we breathe out to sit back towards the heels. Keep this action going. Eventually, we find stillness. Breathe in to send the left hand to the sky. Follow your hand, gentle spinal twist, looking towards the sky. Exhale to send the left hand under the bridge of the right arm. Rest your left arm and the side of your head on the earth. There's an option to keep the right palm on the earth or you can place the right hand on the low back to offer a lovely stretch to the right pec. Three breath cycles here. Release your right hand back to the earth. Breathe in. And then on your next exhale, unravel and rise up. Breathe in to send the right hand to the sky. Look up. Exhale to send the right hand under the bridge of the left allowing the right arm and the side of the head to rest on the earth. Choose an option with the left hand that feels most supported for you. We are here for three breath cycles. Place the left hand on the earth if it is not already there. Breathe in and then breathe out to rise up. Walk the knees under the hips and then swing the legs off to one side. Let's come to a seated position on our mat. When you arrive there, send the legs out long. Feet are roughly in line with the hips. Press into your heels. Find ways to lengthen through the spine. Hands rest at your sides, palms on the earth or fingertips. One breath cycle in staff pose. Wonderful. Breathe in to send the hands to the sky. Thumbs back with the pinkies facing forward. Spread your fingers. Breathe out to fold forward. For today's practice, let's find a lovely bend in our knees to allow the belly to rest on the tops of our thighs. Allow your hands to fall wherever they may naturally fall. Eventually, we bow our heads. Permission to close the eyes. Release yourself fully in this moment, taking time for you. Notice the thoughts that may be bubbling to the surface. Acknowledge on the inhale and on the exhale, let go of those thoughts. The thoughts that may not be serving you well in the present moment. Breathe in to acknowledge, breathe out to let go. Five loving breath cycles here. Keeping the eyes closed, let's slowly roll up through our spine. Crown of the head eventually reaches towards the sky. Open your eyes. Bring the legs in and come to a cross-legged seat. Fingertips release to the earth. Breathe in to send the hands to the sky. Fingertips kiss one another. Breathe out to float the hands back down to your sides. Breathe in, hands reach up and overhead. Exhale, hands return back to the earth. One more round, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in to send the hands to the sky. Exhale to twist to the left, releasing the right hand on the left knee and the left hand to the earth. Allow the breath to guide you a little bit deeper into the twist without forcing anything. Three breath cycles here.
Breathe in to send the hands to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Once again, we are here for three breath cycles. Breathe in to send the hands to the sky. Breathe out to float the hands back down to the earth. Send your left leg out long so it is on a diagonal to the body. Draw the right foot in so that the right foot connects with the inner left thigh. Place your left hand on your right knee. Breathe in to send the right hand to the sky, finding length in the side body. Breathe out to reach the right hand towards the left side. Side body stretch. Ground down through your right side. Two breath cycles here. Lower and release. Let's take it over to the other side. Right leg extends. Left foot connects with the inner right thigh. Right hand on left knee. Breathe in to send the left hand to the sky. Breathe out to reach towards the right side. Two breath cycles here. Lovely. Lower and release. Bring the right leg in. Let's slowly transition on to our backs. When you arrive there, place the feet on the earth about hip distance apart. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. If you have a yoga strap, a belt, or a folded up towel close by, you can grab that now. If you do not have these items, it's all good. I will provide another option. For those with an item, place that item around the top of your foot just below the toes. Gently hold on to your item as we slowly send the sole of the right foot to the sky. Feel free to keep a generous bend in the right knee. Go to a point where you feel a lovely stretch in the back of the leg, especially the hamstring. If an item is not available, interlace your fingers and wrap your hands around your right hamstring. Breathe here. You can close your eyes. There's an option to extend the left leg out long to get a generous stretch in the left hip flexor. Wherever you are, we are here for three breath cycles. Begin to slowly lower the right foot back down to the earth. Notice how the right foot feels. Now hug the left knee in towards the chest. Place your item around the sole of the foot and then send the left foot towards the sky. Explore options that work best for you here, giving yourself permission to ease into the stretch. Again, there's an option to send the right leg out long. We are here for three more breath cycles. Release the left foot to the earth, place your item off to the side, and then send both legs out long. Take up space on your mat, so walking the feet towards the edges of the mat and allowing the feet to fall open. Breathe in to send the arms from left to right, exhale to give yourself a loving hug. Right arm over the left, hands rest on the shoulders. Hold yourself here. I find that when I am having a tough day where I'm feeling off, disconnected to myself, and maybe even just the world around me, I wrap myself up in a warm embrace. Perhaps this serves you well. Breathe in to unravel and send the arms from left to right. Exhale, another hug. Left arm over the right this time. Permission to close the eyes. Breathe in to unravel. Exhale, hands rest at your sides. Palms face towards the sky. If your eyes are not already closed, I invite you to close them now. 
Release everything. Take a moment to scan the body for any areas of tension. The jaw, eyes, neck, the shoulders, fingers, hips, and even the legs and feet. Can you feel the earth supporting you right here, right now? Take a moment to notice how you feel. This could be physically, mentally, emotionally. It is my hope that this grounding practice served you well. Feel free to make use of these postures or the breath in your everyday life to ground down and to establish or reestablish connection. Thank you for joining me here today. Take care, my friend. Namaste.